Let's go back in time to Design Week 2021. Design Week was a six-day virtual event and the topic of each day was a different mega trend in the industry. We actually have constructed a smart home. So it's gonna be a lot of fun this week. I'm really, really excited for it by the way. Hi, Ulysses from Microchip here. Let's take a look at the top eight trends, solutions, and topics from Design Week 2021. Coming in at number eight, we learn about microchip solutions and 5G. Do you mind talking to people about some of the actual solutions? Sure. Uh, not only do we have a timing grandmaster system, uh, we also have the components uh, that then would go into each of the pieces of equipment to the end node. At number seven, the gang talks about the areas in e-mobility where microchip provides solutions. So you can see several different applications where we are positioned. As an example, for sure there's less need for an engine cooling fan in an electric car. But there is definitely the, the need for a battery cooling system with a high efficiency. Next, why machine learning at the edge is important. Why would somebody want to use machine learning at the edge? So machine learning at the edge is really you know, to try to do different things. Everybody is trying to get lower cost. Also, you can maybe have lower power. In some cases, there may not be 5G coverage. You know, so you have to be able to do things locally as well, and then you collect when you go back. At number five, we have the capabilities that are needed for IOMT medical devices. When a device is hard to utilize, there's problems. By applying just sound techniques and using simple touch versus mechanical switches and you know instructions on an LCD screen, it's interesting how that really makes the device smarter so the patient doesn't have to have you know, a medical degree to be able to operate the device. At number four, we found out what Microchip's IoT solutions are. And so I guess a big point is that Microchip as a whole is cloud agnostic, Correct. right? Any cloud, anywhere, anytime. At the same time, the, uh, the most key point here is that these systems are capable of over the air firmware updates. Number three is three online tools that will help you get started. MPLab Discover, which is basically a whole bunch of demos that you can get started with. You put in uh, some search keywords and it will give you a whole bunch of uh, different examples close to what you're looking at doing. MPLab Express lets you write the code, right. compile the code, and the built-in code configurator, which is online as well. Coming in at number two, we watch demos from the smart home. We took the gateway and the LED drivers board and we set that up. So the one that you see here is a power over ethernet switch. Um, we also installed some of the blinds in the home. It's alive, the house <laughs> is alive. So Michael is taking a contactless temperature measurement for, from his forehead and his body temperature is 97.7 Fahrenheit. And it's actually connecting up to Amazon Web Services, and then we're looking at our browser here to see it. So this is all live. And at number one, we learned about all the major trends in our industry from consumer to industrial. It used to be that uh, IoT would be added just because it's cool, but that's no longer good enough. Wearables really kind of started more with consumer fitness type of devices, but they became interesting to medical companies also. The characteristics of silicon carbide result in the system being more efficient, um, being lighter, and being smaller. IP data through uh, data centers is going to really get close to 21 zettabytes by the end of this year. That's a lot of data. That's a lot of data. A to massive amount of data. Massive amount of data. That's it, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what your favorite highlight was and what content you want to see on our channel. Check out all the Design Week content at microchip.com slash designweek.